What am I not? Hey. What? Hello? Hey, 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 how you doing? You're in the hospital? Yes, I am. What's going on? I just have hot problems, um, congestive hot they have the hot flu issues and stuff like that as well. I'm just here to get myself better, that's all. Okay. Okay. Were you looking for a woman while you were in the hospital, baby? You know what? Um, I was married for 18 years. My wife, she passed away. Oh. I met her on Christmas Day and married on New Year's Day. I was a provider. I was a protector. I just need someone to share my life with, help me in ministry and stuff like that. So wait, you met your wife and you married her the next day? I sure did. And that was 18 years ago? Yeah, sure, sure did. Matter of fact, Act is so strange. I met her on the chat line, you know, the phone chat line, like live, live link and all that stuff. That's how I met my wife. And she passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. When did she pass? It's, it's now. I've been. We've been together for 18 years. Now it's been like seven, or eight years now since she passed. Since she passed. Okay. So, are you doing better in the hospital? I'm doing much better. I feel stronger than ever. So, you, you want to do the quarantine? So, so you want to do the Kendra G questions to find love right now? Yes, I do. Ooh, okay, I guess. Well, what's your name, sir? I'm Kendra J. Turner. No, what's your name? My name is Kendra. Ken Kendra. -E okay, but... Kendra. K E N D R I. I know how to spell it. Okay. Now, Kendrick, where are you calling me from? I am calling from Virginia, Charlottesville, Virginia. How old are you? I am 52 years old. 52, and do you work? I sure do. I'm ex military. I'm in the Marine Corps. I'm Marine. retired from the Marine Corps now. You're in the Mar and I'm, Marine Corps now. Do you I'm have any kids? Huh? Yes, I have one daughter. My daughter's name is Gabby. Gabrielle. She's from Portsmouth. Okay, no, no. Just I just need her age. How old is Gabby? She's 25. If this is from, from your marriage? No, no, no. This is my wife. She couldn't have children, so this is doing my high school sweetheart. Gotcha. Okay. And what do you believe in zodiac signs, Kendrick? Mm, yes. What What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. A Libra. So you're currently in the hospital again because you're dealing with heart issues. Heart issues. Yes. Do you know when you're gonna get when you're gonna get released? I'll be out next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have Kendrick VA. 52 Libra, he's in the Marine Corps, and um, he is looking for a woman while he's in the hospital. So what kind of woman are you looking for? Well, you know, I'm a religious guy, so I look for somebody to say, Holy Ghost feel, five by ties, Pentecostal, no way around the church, um, someone that knows how to stand by her man, someone that'll let a man uh, provide, protect her, and take care of home. I don't care if the woman has kids or not, don't have kids. Because then when a woman, if she has children, she, that children comes with the packet. Okay, doesn't care if you have kids. What are your deal breakers? Oh, God. I hate, I hate a liar. And a cheater. I need faithfulness. If I'm be true to you, I'm going to be faithful to you. You be faithful to me. That's all I want. That's all I want. Okay. Um, should she look a certain way? No. Uh, it really don't matter to me as long as they got a good heart. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs love. Okay. Um, now should she make a certain amount of money? No. That's, see, I'm glad you mentioned that. That's not a woman's job to provide. That's the man's job to provide for that woman. So a lot of men, they got it twisted. They want to stay home and let the woman bring home the bacon. That's not what the word says. The word says the man should work from his sweat of his brows. So you don't care how much money she make? I don't care. I'd rather okay. for her to take her money, spend it on herself, and let me take care of the rest. Okay. Now, um, the next thing is the Kendra cam, but I guess you can't do the Kendra cam. No, I cannot. Can you pan the bed? 
Can you pin the, the hospital bed? Uh huh. Take your phone and pin the hospital bed so we can kind of get a gauge of your body. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to give you grace on the Kendra can because he's literally in the hospital. Um, now, what's the age range you want her to be, Kendrick? Well, I never date no one younger because some, sometimes some young women is not mature, but she, ha, she can be like 50 or 60. 50 or 60. Mm hmm All right. And sh should she be in VA? Mm hmm She don't have to be in VA. You know, she can be in the area, out of the area, as long as she know how to communicate and we can see each other, spend time with each other, provide it. I can take care of her. You can take care of her. Now, what about, um, when was your last relationship, Kendrick? Hmm. I just got out of a relationship. Um, I was in Houston. I provide for this woman. She got caught cheating, uh, accusing me of messing with other women. And I'm always around her all the time. So I'm trying to figure out when do I have the time to mess around. And I'm always around you, around her, whatever the case might be. So she accused you of cheating, but she was cheating? Yeah. You know they always say when someone accused someone else, someone is always doing the same thing. So how would you find out how she was cheating on you? Well, going through her Facebook page and going through her phone and putting a tracker on her phone. You put a tracker on her phone? Mm -hmm. Do you think I didn't? What? Hold up now, Kendrick. How did you put a when tracker you, on her phone? When you, got, when you feel like something's going on, and you, you know, you, you go to work at a certain time, and then you know you get up at like 6 o'clock, and then you come home by 11, 12 o'clock, come on, that's a red flag. So what kind of tracker did you put on her phone? Mm, it's one of those trackers on the phone that you go to the app and one of those spot apps and then you put it into the phone. She really did not know I done it. So you put a spot now that that I think that's illegal. Mm, no, it's not. Remember, I'm what did you no do with it? I mean you okay, Kendrick, I'm not I'm not excusing her behavior of cheating on you, but I think this is an extreme to put a spy tracker on somebody's phone. But you know what, Kendra, let me just say this to you. When you give your all in all and you're taking care of that woman and then she turn around and she cheat on you, come on. So let me ask you this. So what did you learn from the spot? I don't know how it works, to be quite honest. Is it video? Is it look like, how did, what did, what did it, the... It can, it, it can do video or it can do, um, it can do video or it can do audio. So I did both. So wait, so when she wait, the, hold on. What, this has in, to in, in the midst, in, in the midst of me doing that in the video, I'm seeing this light skinned brother in her vehicle. Wait a minute, hold up, Kendra. So how does it work? So her phone automatically just recorded? We both number one, you can't just do it with a regular phone. If you got an iPhone, you can do it. So you put a spy tracker on her iPhone and you were recording her behavior and she had no idea. Nope. So, okay. I, I'm, I'm so intrigued. So you were watching it in real time. Like, how does it work? It is real. It's real time. It's so real she's time. in the car and her phone, is, but what if her phone's in her purse? It still will pick it up. Number one, she the type of person is, she don't put no phone in her, in her pocketbook. She's going to lay it on the, um, the vials on top of the car. Or she's going to put it over there with a cup holder. It's going to pick up everything. She never put her phone in the pocketbook. So I would know that. Okay, so did you did, did you come? Well, if she didn't know, she's going to know now. Does she know that you put a spy tracker on her phone? Well, when I would get a walk out and pat my bag pack, I show her the proof. And then she tried to make up a lie that she didn't. So I asked her, so who is this guy? in your car. So they want to know the name of the app, oh, child. My, oh, that, oh, my, oh, that's my, oh, Everybody's that's like, my wait uncle. a minute, what is this app called? You have 
I can't reveal my secrets. You just gotta go through your app. Now, you gotta listen, go through your app. Do, this has got to be illegal. There's no way you can track a person's phone. Not saying what she did was right, but I feel like there's no way you can do this legally. You can you can legally put somebody like a spy on somebody's phone without them knowing. Go to your go to your uh go to your app. I'm pretty for sure you do. And tell you want to get the, the app tracker, and it's gonna go. Go right there, and you have to download it. It comes to your phone. It asks you the information. You put your credit card address in there, and it goes to and do the rest. But how does the person whose phone is on not know that they're being recorded? That's the part. They I'm don't. They don't. They don't know it because it's hidden. So you have you. You must add a password to her phone. Exactly. Matter of fact, she don't put passcode on her phone. You can automatically just go into your phone. Here's the deal. If you got to do all this, just lead a relationship, child. Like, if you have to, if, if you got to get spy trackers, private investigators, check phones, just end the relationship. Well, I'm just, I'm like this. If I'm going to give you my all in all, at least be honest with me. Let me know you got somebody else there or you just want both of us. Just be honest. That's all I want you to do. Don't lie to me. Some people don't believe your story. Go, if you don't believe my story, go to your iPhone. Ask for the, 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 the spy actor, and it's going to come on your phone. I'm trying to tell you, honest to truth. Okay. okay, well, we'll leave it there. All right, so that was the last relationship. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? You said what again? When's the last time you had sex? You don't have to answer. I, I don't have no problem at all. I'm very good in the bedroom, out the bedroom at any given time. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Anybody tell you, I got to go raw dog when I say this. I can go, I can eat a full course meal straight up, straight up. And make sure you have that orgasm. And you ain't got a fake one with me. I'm going to make sure you have one straight up. You know, a yeah. lot of women they fake that or they make that they fake that orgasm, but you ain't got to fake one here because I know how to put it down. See, a lot of men don't know how to eat; they're not no professional. You got to know how to do it. Well, for clarity, <laughs> the question is: the last time you had sex, not how good you are at sex. Well, so, it's been two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, okay. Mm -hmm. When did you go to the hospital? I just got here. Ooh, yeah. Well, he says some of y'all don't know how to eat a full course meal, but he's very good at that. Very good. I ain't got to brag. Kendrick, um, three, three. I don't know what to say. I don't know what. To, what do y'all want me to say after all this? I don't. We he in the hospital. We got a spy <laughs> tracker. He done, he said he got to eat vagina better than everybody. I don't know what y'all want me to do, child. Look, just <laughs> say what you got to say. That, listen, take the break, so. Hey, say what you got to say. Don't fake it. Be real. Well, I'm, I'm just going to continue on with the questions because I'm not sure if I'm ready for you, Kendrick. So the next line <laughs> of questions is, what are three flaws you have to work on? You said what? what? Three, three flaws you have to work on. Working late, coming home late, working late. Okay. And yep. also staying in church too long. Doing what in church? Staying in church too long. Staying, when I, staying in church? I know it, that, that woman's time. Okay. And what's the third one? The third one is, what did I say? I got to think of one because it's really, let me see. Wash, make, after I finish cleaning up, make sure I'm washing them dishes. Now, Kendrick, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Well, number one is, that's like I go with my wife for 18 years. I'm going to give you the same satisfaction, and you're going to have no complaints whatsoever. No complaints whatsoever. All right, Kendrick, NVA, um, he's 52. 
He's a Libra. He's in the Marine Corps, has a 25-year-old daughter, was once married. His wife, um, may she rest in peace, has passed away. He did tell us he met his wife and married her the very next day. So you're ready yep. to get married again? Yes, I am. All right, and what was the age range you want to date again? 50 to 65. 50 to 65. Okay, he wants to date within his age range. All right, Kendrick, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I uh, did not know you had one. Okay. okay, well, now you know. So what kind of, well, you you good with phones, so I know you can find it good. Go I to can. the, you have an Apple phone? Yes, I, do. I have an Apple phone. Okay, yes. so you go to the app store on the iPhone, type in Kendra G Singles, okay. and make your profile. I'm quite sure Kendrick is taken. Do you have a nickname? They call me J-Boo. J-Boo? Mm hmm J Boo, let me see. Google. Wait, hold on. J J Boo. How you mm -hmm. spell J Boo? J B O O. J B O. J J B. J J is in jam. B O O. Okay, that name is not taken. So you can make your name Kendrick, but. Oh, they're saying, okay, I got a couple of things they want me to ask you. Let me finish this first. Um, they said, okay, Jay Boo is not taken. So make that your username. Okay. And some of the cousins in the comment section are telling me, they said, Kendra, he owes, okay. They're telling me he's a scammer, supposed to be a preacher, pastor in Virginia. Let me, clear, me you, let, me, let, me, let me clear it up right now. I hate when people don't know the facts of stuff, let me clear it up right now. See, I love helping people. And yes, a couple of things they may see on there, I'm not going to pay for anything if I'm not going to get a return on billboards. They put my billboards in places they should not pay. So heck no, I'm not going to pay for that. Number two, I'm a radio ministry. I love being on the radio. AM is not good for radio. So I'm not going to pay for radio. Every time I get on the radio, everything go down. I'm not doing that. So before you say stuff, come and get the facts first. Don't automatically say what I am and what I not am. I have nothing to hide. My life is an open book. So please come to me. Before you don't know something, come to me. I'll be glad to share whatever. They're telling us that you owe somebody $3,000. You owe a radio station $3,000? Yeah, yeah, there again. I'm going to repeat that again. Yes, the radio station that I was on in Alabama, the station stays on, stay off the air all the time. Every time I try to call into the radio station, it stays on. So I have listeners that listen to me and say, well, you're not on the air. So I said, well, I decided, I said, look, I'm not on the air. I'm about paying this money. So, of course, what they did is they said, I owe some money. That's it. Okay. So, that's what the cousins. So, cousins that were telling me you're a scammer and that you owe somebody $3,000, that's the answer, according to him. That's what, and that's what it is. I am so glad they having this conversation because my life is an open book. I have nothing to hide at all. Okay. Well, Kendrick, we got to go. Download the dating app and set up your profile so the woman can reach out to you. I would definitely do that. I want to thank you so, so very much. I have always been a big supporter of you, and I know you do make really nice hookups, so I'm glad I decided to come on your show. I'm, I'm glad you did too. We're going to go you. now. I wish you well. And listen, be before I go, please, I told you the facts. Leave it alone. Let God take care of what he needs to take care of. It's all good. Oh, well, the cousin's going to talk about you, so I don't know who you think. The cousin's about to research. They about to be talking about you in the comment section. So just get ready for it. They, they not listening to that. They, go, they, they about to tell everybody what they think they know or what they do know. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. It's all good, baby. Okay. I'm built well, for this. I'm built for this. Okay. Well, well speedy recovery. Get well. Thank you. Bye, baby.
Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.